There are so many tough, frustrating, crazy, ridiculous things about learning Chinese characters and Japanese kanji. I know I've already shared some, but just one more. Before you can even read or write a basic sentence in Mandarin or Japanese, or if for some reason you just really want to get crazy into medieval Korean or old Vietnamese, you need to know symbol after symbol. So when I set out to learn symbol after hundreds of symbols, I already knew I was in for it. And then when I learned about the different pronunciations, the meanings, the systems, and the subsystems within the characters, it just threw me a kanji punch in the face, and then the gut, and then the face again, just for good measure. But I was really caught off guard by a killer Han blow that almost knocked me right out. And that killer blow was all about the way you have to write each character. It started innocently enough. They taught me a handful of easy characters and how to write three or four strokes in each. So, stroke one? No, no, wrong. Stroke one. Okay. Stroke two. No, no, no. This is stroke two. Okay. Stroke three. Good. You're getting it. And stroke four. As my sensei used to say, almost okay. Congratulations. You just wrote the character for day. You're an honorary calligrapher. On to the next one. One, just like before. Two. Oh wait, uh, that goes over and down again, right? Uh, yeah, there it is. Three. Nope. Okay, fine. Uh, three. Four. Five. Okay, there's kind of a pattern here. So at this point, I'm starting to think it's, it's just their form of good penmanship. Sure, it's all numberly and orderly and sequential, but I'm game. And what a game it is. This is not just good writing, like in Western calligraphy. As I go along, I learn that this is actually a basic part of writing the characters. If you don't know the stroke orders, you just plain don't know how to write. That's it. So like this one, followed by this one, followed by this one to make a box. That's the right way to do it. This one goes up, not down. This one has a swishy tail. Make these lines before these ones, but then do these other ones after this part. This character has six strokes, not four. And this character has 20 strokes, not 21. Don't mess any of these up, all right? We are watching you. Fortunately, I, I think to myself, hey, self, I I've already spotted some patterns. I test those patterns out and what a relief. I end up getting good mileage out of some of them. It got to the point where once I saw this, but then soon I saw this. After training, young one, you can see it too. But there was more beneath the surface. For one thing, and you had to see this coming, patterns can change. The left side downstroke plus right side right plus downstroke starter combo played like a drumbeat in my head, leaving me with a false sense of security, so I fell victim to characters that split and reordered those same angles. Oh, Song, you were a beautiful melody, but you are a nasty character. And even when rote formulas worked for one character, they broke when more strokes were thrown into the mix. Remember that rice patty from earlier? It gets written one way on its own, but another way is part of the character for hometown. And in China, that's not even the right rice patty. They switch up these two strokes. If you're in China, don't mix them up. So yes, stroke orders can change for the same character in different combinations. And yes, stroke orders for the same character can differ between China and Japan. It might not be the order of the strokes that changes either. The first time I noticed this was the character for equipment. Its big line gets attached in China. And then the one for copy had a roof, but is missing the normal top dot that every other roof I was familiar with has. And there's a newer way to write this character, and an older way. In Japan, there are new characters with fewer strokes, and older characters with more strokes. And in China, there are simplified characters that often have a lot fewer strokes. But the fewer stroke characters in China aren't the same ones you'll find in Japan. So even the patterns I thought I was seeing before turned out not to be hard and fast rules. But keen observer that you are, maybe you can step back and notice something that I didn't. These are all straight line stroke patterns. It's just the direction and the order that we're squabbling over here. And that's true. Until you meet cursive scripts and other ways of writing the characters that have whimsical swishes and circles, it's a lot to take in. But it's important. There is a right way and there is a wrong way, and people will notice if you write the wrong way. But you know what? Millions upon millions of humans learn to write this way. Ridiculous, yes, but I never said it was impossible. But what do you think? Lay it on me in the comments, and stick around and subscribe for language.